Hello, thank you for joining me for this latest video. We heard in the Psalms this past Sunday a very important line, actually the very first line of the Psalm. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. In you I take refuge. I know that this has been a long period of time, seven weeks of stay-at-home orders and social protocols, you know, uncertainty in our lives, difficulties and challenges of being home with other family members when we're such busy people and now we're together all the time, away from family, away from friends. It's definitely been a challenging time. And that's why I've said before that we need to unite ourselves always to that cross because through the cross, I also have a resurrection. I have a new beginning and a new opening, the opening to our Lord a opening to God. It's a time that we really have to be most conscious as well. You know, it's been a long time that we've been separated and apart. Who would ever think that? And probably, you know, something God willing will never experience in our lives again. This has been a nightmare, so I certainly hope it won't be. But it needs to be a time where I get something out of it. There's got to be a silver lining. And I hope for you and for me, that silver lining is meaning that we're getting closer as family and friends. I hope that silver lining is to realize that even in the small things of my life, even though I'm going through all of these challenges, some have lost their jobs, some people we may know have died because of COVID-19, I know that at least I got God. And I know that I could grow in this greater relationship. I could realize that you know, God is there for me. He's not going to abandon me. After all, he would never have sent Jesus into the world to die on that cross. And Jesus, by his resurrection, gives us hope. So it's got to be that time and opportunity that I'm not giving in to the evil one. See, the evil one is going to want us to get disgusted, frustrated, to be nervous, to be upset, to be fearful. He wants us also to sin. And we better be careful of that. He's going to want us to go ahead and to, you know, use some of this extra time in our lives, not to get closer between, you know, family members and friends or to be able to spend some time in prayer, but rather to go ahead and to do things that are not of God. Maybe, you know, we'll take up a little bit more vulgarities in our life. Maybe we're going to go ahead and, you know, go into following the capital sins, being more prideful. Maybe I'm going to be greedy when I go to the store and try to hog different things. Maybe I'm going to be more lazy or become gluttonous. Maybe I'll take up a bad habit like, say, alcohol. Maybe, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, be somebody who's envious, you know, of somebody else who has something more. Pride, greed, anger, sloth, lust, gluttony, and envy are things that we need to avoid. You know, I heard a report this past week. I'm not surprised. But, you know, people now having more time and, you know, pornography and pornographic sites are now trying to, you know, get into our lives, into our souls. People are either going to them or they're getting connected to emails or even some of these video conferencing. And that's why we always got to be careful. Don't give in to that smut. That's not of God. That's bad. It's evil. And the evil one is going to try to get into us by using that first form of love, eros. That's not true love. True love is agape love, and that's Jesus. We also have to realize, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, that I get closer to God by the efforts that I'm going to make. Instead of, you know, maybe doing that or even computer gambling, because I've even seen advertising for that. And we got to be careful because it can also involve many younger people who will go ahead and try to gamble online. And unfortunately, I've known personally some students who have lost their shirt. It's cost a lot of money that just went out the window. We don't want to get into any of these bad habits or any of the capital sins or going against the commandments. That's not of God. That's not being an Easter person. Easter was to give us hope. And that's what I'm asking all of you to have today, to be able to be people of hope and to know of God's love 
to love God and to love one another. Yes, indeed, we're in this together, you, me, and God. We're in this together. And together we will get through this, become stronger, and soon we will be together again as a church community, as family and friends. So may God continue to bless you. May you continue to go forward in your journey to be a true follower and believer in God and know in the end that if you have a greater relationship with your family and friends and with God, then even though this has been a horrible experience, there has been something great that's come out of it. And that is a new you, a new relationship with the people around you, the new relationship with the people you love and that love you. And most importantly, God who loves you, and now you have a greater relationship of love for him. May we go forward, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to be people of faith, hope, and love. May we continue to be followers and believers, and don't let the evil one at any time beat us out. With God, all things are possible. God bless you.